Yo, what's cracking? We bike once again Monday night with the biz. Hey, what's cracking, everybody? Thank you all for coming through. We got a nice little crit out in here already. Uh, it just jumped up and jumped back down. I'm not sure what it went down. But, yo, thank you guys for coming through. Thank you for waiting so patiently. You already know that the biz is often a little late. That's my preferred time to be. But let me jump into it and see who else in here. Um, let's see you, 503, popping in there. Mystery Snail Garden, the first one in. Thank you, Mystery Snail Garden, for being the first one in. Second came RB Animals and Movies. RB has always been a great friend of the channel. Uh, Didi's finned in. We knew Didi wouldn't miss this. We wouldn't. We knew Didi wouldn't miss this for the world. Um, new local Austin, my guy, my guy, Big Mike, man. New local Austin, thank you for coming through. And then we have Rule Singh. Oh, Posiwi, I was just talking about you, man. What's going on, Posiwi? We met Posiwi in Dallas. Very cool lady, Posiwi. Um, Oink Master Supreme, the Oinktasticus, for sure. Pride More Fish and More. Thank you for coming through, Fishymon. Thank you for coming through, Skulls. Thank you for coming through, Fish Kid. Thank you for coming through, DG, uh, 3G. Thank you for coming through, Liquid Zoo. Thank you for coming through, Master Aquatics. Just call me Eduardo. Thank you for coming through, Monster, Fe Monster Fish Gal. You should be in blue, please. Shoot me a thumbs up if you're in blue, Monster Fish Gal, because I did that with the jizzleness after we got off the last time. Geek Boy, thank you for coming through. Ricky De Hoya, thank you for coming through. I hate stupid people. Thank you for coming through, Xanadudu. Thank you for coming through, Monica Lynn, my mod extraordinaire. Thank you for coming in this thing. Skip, skipper, skip to my Lou is in here. Thank you for coming through. J Rock does stuff. Scary Terry, thank you for coming in. 503 Aquatics Bex, thank you for coming through. Just in case, Shane, thank you for coming through. Lonnie, aka Looney Tunes, Mary P. Flynn, thank you. Thank you. Aquafunk. I guess I appreciate it. Maybe sometimes. Everybody else in NC Aquatics, thank you for coming through. Garcia with the super sticker popping all the way through. Thank you for coming through. And I'm going down, 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 down. Jenna P, always a pleasure. And John the Fisherman, thank you for coming through. What's cracking, everybody, man? Look at the love in this joint. Thanks, y'all, man. Wayne's Aquatics, thank you for coming through. I appreciate you. Listen, I have backstage, no under, no other than the hostess with the mostess, Jess of Maine's Tails, Fur, and Fins. You guys already know this is what we're here for, baby. But first, update, update, update. For those of you guys that know, I had twins in September, and my daughter has been in the NICU um, ever since then, um, I just now leave in the hospital today. Normally I go every Monday because I have a slew of things I do after work, after school duties. I coach at the middle school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do the aquatic club and anime club on Wednesdays after school. So I want to make sure that I get to see baby girl when I can. Keith Hanshaw, thank you for coming through. And I want to let you know um, that... Um, for those that were in here, and thank you, Collaboration of Curiosities, I appreciate it. Um, for those of you guys that were here last Monday, you know that I have been going through a series of roller coasters up and down, not just me, but my whole family. And um, um, we were at a plateau where we were thinking Thanksgiving we were going to get her. And then on Thanksgiving, we had got um, some bad news where it didn't look really good at all. And... Um, uh, where we were worried about the fluid buildup in the lungs. Uh, now we are worried about the thickness of the heart and her losing oxygen and them having to 
um, put a bag over her mouth and resuscitate. So um, we found a, a doctor came to us and said he's been following. He gave us a medication. It came right on Thanksgiving evening for her first dose. And she's been on that. The problem is, is that medication is going to last. And for it, in order for it to take hold, um, it's three months. So we're looking at probably March. And um, but that's still a better feeling than for them to say, we're not sure, you know, how this is going to go. So we're still hopeful there. Um, um, if she ever does baby stuff like cry too much or gets frustrated and starts crying and whatever has her heart pumping the fastest, her oxygen is depleted also. And so they have to calm her and bag her. So right now she is, and by bag, I mean, blow oxygen into her to get her levels right. Um, right now she's been, she's been resting comfortable. She hasn't had any episodes. They do have her, um, on some sort of sedation medicine for babies. And, um, uh, I was just up there just talking to her and making sure she didn't get riled up and just sitting with her and, you know, just watching her kind of just, you know, lay there. And it's, it's, it's trying, man. It's, it's hard. It's really hard. So I go there and then I know I have a live stream where, um, you all will <clears throat> give me your well wishes and your prayers and your good vibes. And I'll have a, a guest up here that will, uh, keep my mind, you know, um, off that, but still, um, very, very hopeful in, in, in the same, in the same realm. So I appreciate you guys. Um, I want to say that that's update on that, but she is doing well. Uh, she is progressing. We just have got to let that medication take hold. And I have got to, um, I've got to leave it up to the capable hands of the doctors at the, uh, at the NICU. <clears throat> now, hams in homes for the holidays. For those of you guys that don't know, I am a biology teacher. First is my career. And um, I have been doing a donation, getting for hams for the holidays, in homes for the holidays is what I just called it. Um, I have just got some more funds. Um, thank you to everybody who has given, everybody who has said hope everything goes well and praying on those families so for those in my uh those students in my high school that are in need of hams um i am able to get so far about 12 hams um if not 13 with the new funds so i have those um i have counselors calling families that are in need so i will i will i will have homes for those hams i am still collecting um I will put it up here and let you guys know where, where you can give, but it's at PayPal, fishybizaquatics at gmail.com. And at um, Cash App, it'll be dollar sign busyfish45, two Zs for the biz, or you ain't spelling it right. Um, I really appreciate everybody that has donated. A lot of you guys have donated when I did last, uh, last month for the turkeys, which went great. And you guys have also donated for hams. I know this time of year is definitely trying and everything that everyone has been going through pandemic wise and pre and post and maybe your own issues that you've got going on. So anything that you guys have done, even if it's just a hey, fishy biz, I hope you get it. I can't give it now, but I'm giving you my well wishes and prayers that you can get stuff to those kids. I really appreciate it. And for those of you guys who have have had hard times and was able to get a ham at some point in time when you were little or a turkey at some point in time when you were young for your family and you understand you've been given back to me and i really appreciate you guys straight up so i really appreciate that um i had a where's the damn thing at? here it is um booyah there it is those go to hams for the holidays um a lot of you guys have been putting you know once you send it to me you've been putting um You've been putting, hey, for the hams, go get those hams. Hey, feed the, feed those families. And I've, I've been trying to make sure that I, I, I send that back to you, man. So I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. We got Chris Multitank Addiction with the 99 cent super sticker. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Chris. Now, you guys have been updated. Consider yourselves updated. Monster Fish Gal, thank you so much. Consider yourselves 
updated. Now, without further ado, we're going to bring her in. And you already know. The one, the only, Jess Mains Tales Furs and Fins. <laughs> yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. There you go, Jess. That's what I like to say. That's what, what's cracking? Oh, you know, and just another day in the life of YouTube. It has been a long time coming. I've been trying to get you up here. You are a busy, busy woman. Yes, indeed. Somebody's bells will get jingled on this stream tonight. <laughs> I had to throw that one on there. Probably the last crass remark. Me, I think we just made enough crass remarks on the last one. Um, <laughs> Jess, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How was your day today? Oh, busy, sort of. I've watched the back of my eyelids for about five hours, so that was a good thing. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. I have been up since six and just on my feet chasing kids, telling kids what to do, whatever kids, all of this stuff, whatever, oh, yeah. whatever, whatever. And then there's no way, there's no way. I have a problem with mine just for a few hours a day <laughs> Let me tell you. to deal with them like for 12 hours would be unreal. I got to pull my, all my hair out. It takes a special person, man. Yes, it does. It's going to work, man. Yes, the the patience you have to have. Yeah. I'm almost trying to retire. I've only been doing it for 14 years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I tell you what, good teachers have it bad because good teachers care about, you know, their kids and their students and trying to get them together. You know, the bad teachers, they just go in, whoop, whoop, whatever, and go home, forget about it. But like to be that, to be dedicated, man, it, 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 to me, it adds more years than just a regular job. Like, yeah, when, like, when we get to retire at like 60, it's like a hard 60. Like we just no, sit there like, dude, I don't want to do anything. Right. <laughs> would, you, would you like to do something with kids? Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I say that, but when it came to, you know, the horses or 4-H or anything like that, I mean, I was on it and I was running it. And I mean, the kids were the life at that time. But I only still had to deal with them for a few hours. So, like I said, to deal with them for longer than that, oh, my gosh. The energy level you got to have is unreal. Man, I'm trying to tell you. And that guy from Texas said it. Said a mouthful. Teachers, teachers don't get paid enough. Not me enough. We get a lot of scrutiny, you guys, about, oh, my God, but you guys get weekends off and you guys get holidays off and you guys get the summer off. Let me tell you something. You deal with somebody else's kid, a room full of them at the ages of 14, 15, 16, and see if you don't need a holiday off or a weekend off or anything. And yeah. at the same time, caring Always. more about their grade and caring more about their well-being than some of them. And yeah. see if you don't feel that way. Straight up. Straight That's, up. Yeah. It, it's just straight like that. Now, Jess, you are a busy woman and i say that because you have mains tails fern fins yep. the youtube channel you also have the aquatic morning show the yep. youtube channel you also co-host on another channel yep. and it's just like when when do you have time what do you have what else do you have time for what do you what is what is going on where do you have your downtime at in between <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much don't like sleep like most people like at like eight hours at a time I sleep like three hours here two hours here maybe five hours here and that's the max um just for whatever reason I'm a night owl and that doesn't um go with most of society and you know everybody else is up during the day so I have to be up during the day too. So, you know, I'm like, ah, so I grab Z's when I can. Gotcha. But it's, um, it's fun. Like I get stressed because I don't know when to stop and that's my fault. Um, but 
I wouldn't change it for the world. So I got gotcha. you. No, it's 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 weird, man, because your day to day, whatever job or career that you have, you're, you know, whether you're retired or not, you know, going from there to um, YouTube as a relaxation tool, it, it starts off like that because it's something that you like like to do and love to do. Yeah. But then keeping up with it once yeah. it kind of takes off on you, you're like, now it's it's second, it's its own job in itself. It is. It is like, its I have own several job. videos I have got to do for other people aside from putting the stuff that I have to edit out aside from working and, right. and coaching and doing all of that. So, right. Yeah. Right Let's now, in between. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Garcia. Appreciate it. Thank you. So right now, in between YouTube, other than trying to make videos and all the other stuff that goes along with YouTube, um, I've been doing just some online things because come October 31st, landscaping tanks, like, gone. You don't get no more calls. It's like somebody shut the phone ringer off. They just hit that button. Sure. And so um, you, we just don't have anything until February or March. And then I only have five or six, five or six people that I take care of anyway, anymore. Um, well, this game has gotten hard on my old butt. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, and I'm still in the thick of it. I got five little monsters and two bonus kids. That's just like. And bless your heart, because there is no way. There's no way I'd start over again right now. Lord, <laughs> Jesus, God. the start over is crazy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you know what to do, so it's just repetition. Yeah. Well, except for in one of your cases, yeah. but you know, it's still like, geez, it's a, it's definitely a beast. Yeah, um, let's jump into this this mains tails fur and fins though. Yeah, so. Manes, of course, horse manes is what yep. we're talking about. Tails, we're talking about still horses. Dogs. Dogs, we're talking about dogs. dogs. Fur. Cats, dogs, whatever, other furry animals. Any, anything with the, any furries. <laughs> all right. And then fins, of course, are our fins. scaled friends right. in our tanks. And right. Is that the order in which you kept them or... It actually is, come to think of it. Okay. Um, and, and I didn't do that on purpose, actually, right. but it is. Um, horses came first. I grew up in the saddle. Um, and then, of course, when you have the horses, you usually have dogs and cats and every other furry animal I would try to bring in the house or would try to raise. Um, and then I started working when I was in high school for a bunch of vets. Mm -hmm. um, and so then, you know, I was in that side of it too. And um, was actually on my way to becoming a vet and um, ended up taking a left turn. <laughs> but you know, it happens. Hey, let me tell you something. I started off as a dental assistant. I've done that too. I was just in high school and um, she hired me as a gopher at first. Yeah. Just go for this, go for that, yeah. go for this, go for that. So, and, I, and I learned to um, sit chair side and, yeah. and uh, put amalgams in the amalgam carrier and give yeah. her forceps and scalpel and watched her take these, these, these teeth yeah. out, of, out of kids' mouths where parents that kind of just neglected to, yeah. to, you know, do whatever. Yeah. We had so many patients and she was an older dentist and she told me that she was going to pay for me to go to dental school and take over her practice. Wow. Because she worked with nothing but um, here in St. Louis is, is medic. Well, you know, Medicaid, Medicare, whatever, where, you know, people who can't afford it, they get, you know, and so they get the assistance. So that's all the only patients that she's had. These people were coming from everywhere, Arkansas yeah. to St. Louis, a little part of what? St. Louis from just to get their teeth done or their kids' teeth done because she took it. 
Wow. Yeah, we would get we would get medically handicapped patients, AIDS patients, uh, MR patients, mentally challenged yeah. patients. And I think at a young age that helped me to understand that, you know, people still need caring for no matter what what level or spectrum they're on. You feel me? Yep. So I'm like the only one walking through high school with an actual job job that I can call consider a career. Yeah, me too. The problem was that uh, once they stopped allowing Medicaid, um, for, at some point in time for like a year, they just you, yeah. they, it stopped accepting Medicaid. Um, and um, can somebody let Vibes know um, how my daughter is? I had said it in the beginning. Good. Progressing. Maintaining Vibes. Just a short answer. But um, um, she had to shut the practice down. Was forced into retirement. She was an older lady. And um, was real good to the employees because, you, you, you know, if you did exactly what she asked you to do, you stayed with her and, and she could count on you. Uh -huh. And when she shut it down, it just broke her heart. And it was crazy. It was crazy. So, like, I went from there to kind of wanting to do, like, medical school. Yeah. Like, full scholarship to a teacher's college. And um, I stayed in state because I got a scholarship to, like, eight different colleges for, like, basketball. Wow. But my dad had a stroke. Yeah. Um, and I had to help my mom. And so I stayed there and I ended up. That changes things a lot when when a family member, especially mom or dad, yeah. we had a grandma, Joe's grandmother, and that's why my landscaping business is down to nothing anymore. Mine, um, well, so I went from horses and that to um, dental, actually as well. But I was on the in the lab setting, and I made partials, and um. It was actually a very enjoyable job. I really, really loved that. Sorry. And my mom, I grew up in a dental lab because my mom had a dental lab growing up. Oh, wow. And personal, you know, small. In fact, it was called Town and Country Dental Lab. Okay. And um, I would, you know, I worked in there. So when she got rid of the business, she went to work for someone else. And then I got um, hired on with the same people. And um, so we worked together for several years again, and I really did love that job. Um, made the most money, you know, for working for somebody else that I ever had, and um, it was great. But um, again, life happens, and took another. We let's see, we took a left turn, now we're taking a right turn, and um, I went to doing landscaping full time. So. After that, Granny came and lived with us. And when she came to live with us, I got rid of all but like 10 of my landscaping people. And at that point, I could pick my customers, which is like a really good thing <laughs> instead of having to just take everybody. Yeah. Um, I was able to downsize to just the customers I wanted to keep. So um, it's not as bad. Like, the customers aren't bad at all. I enjoy that part. In fact, I love visiting with them. Um, and most of them are elderly, but I uh, just can't do the work myself. And when the pandemic hit, you just couldn't find anybody to work. So it just killed me the last two years. But um, most of them hung in with me and, and were like, okay, we understand, you know, take your time. As long as we don't have, you know, extra trees growing in the, the beds, you know, we're good. But right. um, in the meanwhile, I started the YouTube channel. So it, um, I, I don't, there was nothing in my brain starting in the pandemic that I was like, I'm just to start a YouTube channel. Never did it cross my mind that I would have done, done this. Um, it just did, wasn't thought of. I never heard, I just didn't think of it. And then one thing led to another and another. And it got to where I was like, you know what? I could do this. And I took other people's advice and they said, do it. Why not? Just do it. Just do it. And the first thing you got to do is that first video. You get past that first video and you, 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 you mow better. But it, um, it's definitely changed my life for sure for the better. And 
I needed it. I sure. think as much as I say it needed me, but it didn't need me. That's everybody. So, but I needed it and it's just done. It's done me well. Yeah, it's definitely needed you, Jess. I mean, <laughs> if it wasn't Jess in the morning show, who would it be? You know what I'm saying? It definitely needed you. So definitely need it. Um, how long have you been YouTubing then? Two years. Okay, so almost two you're years. okay, so almost two years. All right. So I'm approaching three in January. So yeah, it's man. It 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 is you look up at the time and you're looking like, man, I went from just putting something out on YouTube just for shits and giggles. And yep. then, like I've amassed like <laughs> some subscribers and I've got like a whole. Oh yeah. You got a family that yeah. you never thought you'd have. It's nuts. It's it is. nuts. I've but got a, I, I've got a, I've got a website. Fishybigsaquatics.com. <laughs> Crazy with with a gallery and an about me. Yeah, that's <laughs> nuts. Yeah, yeah. I do as well, but I can't keep up with it as much as I should. <laughs> All right. So, mains you did horses. You've you've you were telling us how you did. You've done horse shows. You've beautified horses before. You even helped what ails them at points in time. Um, yeah. Mains, <laughs> <laughs> mains. So, tails. Uh, you are your dog or cat person more dog, okay. definitely. My corgis are right with my fish and my horses. I mean, they're my girls. There it is. Okay, now with those corgis, you do breed, correct? Yes, in All fact, right. we should have some any day now. What, yeah, we should have new puppies hey. any day now. A little fat, fat we got going on, yeah. Okay. Um I have never bred. Um, I've always kept dogs. I'm a larger dog keeper. Like I, 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 Rottweiler was my last dog. Um, before that, I think my very first dog was a beagle, like a beagle mix. And then um, I had a puppy. I had a puppy purebred beagle at one point in time. And I think the mailman took him at some point. In time. <laughs> Yeah. So, and then I got the Roddy, and then after that, I was I was done after my Roddy. Had, we had to put him down. So with the is we start when me and Joe met, um, and I moved in. He had a Rot, and I had a Corgi. So I definitely know about the big dogs. We've also bred Labs, okay, dogs, and so we did, and then we've also got a Border Collie. So mine are small, sort of. I mean, they're still 20 pounds when they're fully grown. So it's not like they're a miniature dog by any means, but they're just smaller than, you know, your big dogs. Yeah. I just think they're the perfect size, but I'm a little biased. So. <laughs> I'm like a little, like a miniature border collie. Yeah. Sort of. So Get how many? Manger. Like a how border many? collie and a weenie dog cross. <laughs> yeah, a little Dutch hound. Yeah. What has been your biggest litter? Six. Six okay. Well, for the corgis. Okay. Now lab, she had I think she had sixteen, but only twelve of them lived. So that was the biggest litter ever born. Wait, that say I that again. Many? Sixteen. Jesus. Yeah. But only twelve of them lived. Um uh, there's just some weird stuff with the other ones. They just didn't live past birth. So, um, mm. yeah. Are you there helping? Are you a, uh, what's the, what's the woman that comes in when you're giving the birth, the, the mate, the, uh, the, uh, uh, what's the mom? What's the, she's a something mom. So, uh, she helps with the birth. She's, you know, if you give birth at your house, she's. Oh, uh, yeah. A, um, yeah. Safe mom, the uh, helper mom. Mid midwife. I, midwife. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I hate people. She probably hates me. Watch out now. You're right pulling now. me. <laughs> Can't remember words. Midwife. That's it. So, midwife. do you yeah. midwife there or the corgis handle it on their own? She could. She could handle it on her own, but I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> and. Okay. With her, I mean, what it's you, like, what especially you, after the first one is born. Dirty? Do you go up in there? 
No, well, no, I don't go up in there, but I am out. there right out there. Right, like Simba. Yeah. yeah, pretty much because, I mean, she, Corgis are long, and when she gets so big and pregnant right now, she can't even bend to scratch her butt. So oh. when she has the first puppy, she's still big. Yeah. So it's really hard to take care of them. What? Sorry. Um, what all does she have to? I've I, I've seen puppies being more like on. Well, the main thing is just to get the the afterbirth off their face. Once you just get it off their face, you want her to do everything because she's it's maternal and it's healthy for them. Mm -hmm. um and so the only thing i do at first is make sure that they're that the afterbirth is off from their nose and then i let her clean them up as much as possible because what most people don't know is they don't exactly come out breathing mm. it's yeah, the, it's, them like you do regular <laughs> kind of okay and, and then when you watch it, it it looks very brutal but it's not it's that's that's the process it goes through from getting the lungs clear. Okay. Um, the the cleaning of them helps get the breathing going and the so stimulation. Can, so we can start breathing on its own. Yeah. Exactly. And so, um, you know, they flip them upside down all, on their head. On, I mean, all over. And, you know, I've been like, oh, my God, no, you're going to. No, no, you can't get out of You know, but <laughs> it, no, it's um, it's totally needed and i have had one or two that took too long to start breathing mm -hmm. and i did have to intervene mm -hmm. um but um it came out so it came out well so all right and so as so you have gloves on or you just going no. in and raw dogging and just kind of just wipe do you wipe it you no wipe the afterbirth off of it or you, do you no. shake it no i okay. just take and i break it i just break it right over their nose Oh, it say it's like t okay, like a, like a like a tissue at a snot party. Just, yep. Okay. Yeah, but it's not as easy as that. It's, it's thicker, so but yeah, it I, I just break strong, it. Yeah, put a, put a little strength into it. Okay. Uh huh. But I don't use gloves. I mean, my hands are clean, but I don't use gloves because I, I can't <sighs> feel. So. Ugh. Ugh. It it and it has its own odor. You just have to, you just have to get used to it. Ah. And then you then you pass it to her and she gets yep. to licking it off of it. Yep. And, and you do that could. nine times? Six times? Yes. Good for you. Does yes. she go hiding? Like like my like my two year old when he went pooping in his diaper, he would hide behind the couch. <laughs> I mean, like, oh my god, it's funny because mine did the same thing. My my <laughs> oldest did that when we were potty training him. He went behind the recliner. And I'm like, do you not think I know what you're going back there to like, do? No, would you, they just bent over, like, leave me alone. Like, right. here, go exactly. to the toilet. Here, let's get you there. Go <laughs> ditch it off. Come on, let's get there. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, not exactly the same, but <laughs> um, she'll take care of them and clean them up until I start feeding them dog food. Once I start feeding them mash, then it pretty much stops. She's like, okay, hold up. There's more than me in there now. <laughs> Dude, yes, it can. Very much so. It can it can't smell worse than being in a horse. Yes. It can. It can. Although that odor doesn't stick to your hands like being in a male horse does. Oh. It's awful. That's nasty. We're not getting into that again. No, we're not getting back into all that. But yeah, you know, it's, um, it's it's a. I mean, it's it's just a thing when you grow up with it. It's it's just it's what you do. Nature type deal. Exactly, it's just what you do. And and when you're with animals, they can't do everything themselves, which you would think whatever made them, you know, would they could, but um, they they can't, and so. Sometimes we have to intervene. I've seen and, cows give birth on um, TV. That looks like a long drop. <laughs> it is a long drop, but that drop is needed. Necessary, so I could bust that bag open. Bust the bag and help them breathe. It's that that initial, you know, hit wow. gets that that um, fluid out. 
Mm. Hey, I'm a man without living on a farm, Didi. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna tell you, not just living on a farm. You got to go like to the four sixes. You got to go like to the ranch, like out west Texas and Arizona, and I mean the hardcore ranches. Yeah. To no, I'm, Jeez, I'm, I'm telling you what, it, <laughs> cowboying, cowboying is not what the people think it is. It's a very hard, hard life. You know, everybody has that fantasy. I want to be a cowboy. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, I'm good on that. Farm life is hard life, says D-Day, which is, it is. and Looney it Tunes is. says loss is loony mine. <laughs> Lost your loony mind, and I would not want to videotape a birth. It's bad enough that I have to go through fertilization with the students, and they, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. I definitely don't want to see the aminals. Well, when Lena got, I mean, when Rainy, Lena's got another year before I breed her, but when Rainy goes into labor, I go live. Do you really? I do. Okay. I'll make sure that I'll unbell that for I a little sure while. Do. <laughs> yep. And it's, I don't show the actual birth, um, but I do show them just right after I get them clean and another breathing. So that's cool. Now, since you're breeding corgis, this is about to come up because um, French bulldogs are super in. So these yeah. little, cute little dogs are in. Your dogs are little, and I know you think they're cute, but they're all right. They, they, they look like dingoes. And. <laughs> Have you looked at a dingo? Have you seen what an actual dingo looks like? They look nothing like a nothing. dingo. <laughs> totally opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> you know, you take a cat. I would say I would say the closest thing to a catahoula cur. I mean, to a dingo would be a catahoula the cur dogs. Mm -hmm. They look like dingoes still. Yeah, I've always thought a dingo was similar to like a. A little like a coyote or a jackal mix or something like exactly, that. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. just be funny. Um, but yeah. um, these French bulldogs, I was looking at them and I was considering <laughs> 3000, me and him had talked yeah. about it. Mr. 3000 was going to get the male and I was going to get the female and we were going to rock puppies out because the going yeah. rate for a freaking French bully is astro people are paying like well over eight thousand. Yes, yes, a lot. That's crazy. How much for a dingo, Jess? Um. Okay, so if they look like Lena and they're Merle, okay, um, they're twenty five hundred. Okay. Um, if they're like Rainy and they're a tri colored, they're fifteen hundred to two. Okay. And then if they are the sable and white or the sable and white with a saddle, which is like a fawn color, really, and white, mm -hmm. um, they're a grand. Um, I am the pretty much cheapest person around. Um, corgis can be like, well, I mean, I guess like anything. You have your snobs and they want to keep the breed under wraps that's why it's not it's kind of like the frenchies they just they want to keep that breed to themselves and you really have to spend i spent a lot of money on rainy um to get her and to get her registered um yeah, that was that was my next question now the whole registering and you know you won't get the top dollar if they're not registered and somebody wants a registered dog correct yeah now do you the parents have to be registered so that the yeah. pups are significant. That's how that yeah. works. Yeah, but that that's not. I don't see that going too much longer because of the, you can have a DNA check. So um, I just don't. They can check for pure blood. They can check to see what the what is mixed. Just like people, they can check to see what the DNA is and what all is in that dog that made that dog. Mm -hmm. And so I just don't see you having to have the parents to have your dog registered as long as it's, you know, they can point it as pure blood. Um, mine are still corgis, but mine are, there's two different types of corgis. Um, kind of like your labs. There's two different kinds of labs, right? you got the English and the 
American, I think, or something like that. Um, oh, you've got okay. the Pembroke and you've got the cardigans. And so the cardigans have the merle color, which is what color Lena is. And so to get that color, I had to cross Rainy with a cardigan Pembroke or cardigan Corgi. Same breed, just a little different design. Um, and so we're calling them, they call them, not me, but I don't know who started it, but they're called designer corgis. Um, since they have both the Pembroke and the cardigan, they're called designers. But um, if they come out looking like Lena. So, and she is so much a teenager. She's still grabbing stuff to chew on. And she pulls stuff off of Landon's floor. What is that? Uh, freezer pop? Yep. Oh. That Landon threw on his floor in his room. And so she got it and started chewing on it. And she's a sock thief. She won't chew them up, but she's going to steal them off the floor if they're on the floor. <laughs> she, you don't have to worry about a, a, a dryer. A blow, I mean, a, yeah, a dryer. <laughs> she's going to pull them out for you. All right. Very cool. Now, do you have these six pups sold already? Uh, so I do have a waiting list, but my only, okay. So I do see in chat people talking about breeders and that, you know, they're put dogs are put down every day and all of that. And yes, I do know that. Um, but I put out there that my dogs are chipped when they go to their next people. And that way, if they do ever land in a, facility they can run that chip and that chip first goes back to the new owner that owns the dog and then it goes to me so my dogs never end up in shelters and if there are any shelters that want to call me and say that they have corgis that they need to have somebody sponsor or or get or whatever i'm i'm there i'm first one there to help so, you know, come in with me to that. <laughs> I didn't do it for everybody else, but I mean, for, I didn't make that problem for, every, you know, I didn't make the problem. Um, and I'm a responsible breeder. Beautiful. Glad to hear that. So now do you, now with the fur, do you do that as is with the cats also, or is it just with the corgis for now? I just breed the, the corgis. Um, I don't, I won't ever breed cats. Okay. Unless I had like the the um top of the line calico. No, I wouldn't even do that. It would be oh, it's that the one best that, tabby in the bunch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's those that are they go back to pretty much being almost wild. Um, oh, I can't remember anyway. And they're big. They're big cats. They're not little cats. They're not our not our normal tabby cat. They're the like a feral jaguar? They're close. It's I wish close. I could remember the name of them. Somebody will throw it in chat, but that ocelot. <laughs> yeah. Man. Uh, yeah. yeah. The single. Ab Absidian? Yeah. Oh, the Senegal. I seen that cat. That's the one that has the ears with the extra little yeah. uh, fur yep. up there and it's spotted. Yep. That might look like a, a little skinny leopard walking around your house. That mug slap you. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're different. Like, that's not a normal cat. Like, that is that is like a dog. I mean, that's like a dedication more than yeah. uh, even dogs. Like, yeah. they yeah. have to have special training and yeah. all kinds of special stuff. Yeah. Savannah's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I'm about to say Savannah cats. But you know yep. what? I was considering getting a wolf hybrid, and it uh -huh. has to be bred with either yep. Malamute or um, something it's else. German but Shepherd, you, isn't it? Say it again. The German Shepherd? Is it German Shepherd and Wolf? I know it was. Oh, yeah. I thought they said Malamute at one point in time. And it may be. But. Sorry have to spend every day with it yep you cannot go a day without no nope. spending it because if you do that wolf will go wolf yep. and they've done studies wolf don't need humans nope dogs look to humans for help wolf helps himself 
Yep. Exactly. That dog go wolf all over your ass. So yep. like, yeah. yeah. The guy that works on my saddles, he's got wolves and he has to live out of state, out of um, city limits. They won't let him in the city limits. And he has to have them registered, like specially registered to have them. Yeah. Um, and he's got two. One of them is okay for people to be around. The other one is not. Yeah. And um, and he straight up said it was because he didn't get to take the time with that one that he should have because he got old. True. And, you know, it's a, I, it, it's a dedication for sure. Every animal is a dedication. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it's, it's, an addition, it's on addition to what you would normally do with you know your your normal domestic dogs and cats for sure so, I but i think growing up on a farm and a ranch that breeding is just in my blood and i don't feel that i can help the breed unless i'm breeding what's up little man Ooh, what do you want hey Say hi to Jess. Hi, Jess. Say what's hi going to everybody on? in the chat, all 60 people in there. Hi. Hi, chat. That's what Landon was talking to me a minute ago when I was looking. I was like, dude, I'm live. Hey, what, what do you need? What's going on? Milk. Okay. All right. Have somebody else do it. <laughs> need some milk, bro. Good for them bones. Okay, I'll be up there and give me one second. I'm gonna let Jess take over the chat for a hot second. I can do that. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> I gotta go get milk. I'll go be get right back. Milk, right? Just go get the boys some milk. Say hi to everybody in the chat for me. Keep All right. here. Do really? your thing, thing. Do my thing. <laughs> what's up, y'all? Let's say what's cracking, right? I don't do this. Well. Don't use my stuff. <laughs> Why I'm on your show, I can use your shit. <laughs> It is, right, Danny? Got milk? Brainy's got a lot of milk right now, but not for kids. Hey, Crystal. Xanadu. Yeah, so Diverman remembers showing him the bubble gun at the Aquashella. Oh my gosh, I've got a video of him. Um, me video and him doing bubbles at the camera. Wayne's Aquatics, what's up? Right? I'm, I mean, that's what I'm saying, Geek Boy. If he's going to give me a show, I can use his stuff. It's fair game, right? No. No. I would never steal anybody's stuff. Don't see my ears. Miss Holly. Got me my elf ears. They came in the mail today. Do they show? Can you see them? I'm turn like that. They're so pretty. I love them. <laughs> we <Yes>. bike. <laughs> All right. When and the last part of Maine's Tales, Fur, and Fins is the fins part. Yep. Um, fish. Fish yep. that you like. Fish that you love, that you keep, are you breeding? Do you sell them? Yes. What do you got? I do both. I breed and I sell. Sweet. Um, and I started with guppies. Then I went to bettas. I kept the guppies, of course. And um, now, I, so I started out with 17 lines of guppies. <laughs> and well, I guess you don't start out that way. You get that way. But I had 17 different strains of guppies. Now I only have five that I uh, maintain, like strict. And um, I've, I've gone more the route of breeding what my LFS wants as opposed to what I think everybody else would want um, because oh <laughs> um, 
it was just slow on the web on my website it just they just don't have much that sells through the website itself now i got some stuff that sells through get gills but um I do more through my LFS. And so I'm trying to be more of that wholesaler for them and breed big, except for the lines of guppies. But I do have my mosh pit, but um, they go to the LFS. The lines of guppies, I sell as, as pairs and trios, okay. whether it's at the, um, um, the swaps, or anywhere I can slide in on somebody's table. <laughs> right. But I heard you like um, arowana and jaguar cichlids, but you won't admit it. Nope. Nope. I nope. am not that person. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't like, and there's nothing against them. They're pretty. I just don't ever want them. And I don't, um, I don't understand the fetish with them. I just don't I get it. I have just not been a fan of just a single fish in a huge tank. Yeah. Two fish in a huge. I just feel like that space could be used for a lot of different fish because I'm just a big community type fish. I, I want to see a lot of movement and yeah. a lot of things going on. And you don't. I mean, you get one big thing. I have got an eyelash in my eye. Sorry. Um, but um, I just like to see a lot of movement. And with the big fish, you do have movement, but it's like slow. What are you doing? Oh, you like a lot of movement. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, did the kid give you some milk to drink? And my own milk. <laughs> there you go well you know what Jess <clears throat> it's time that I don't want to keep the people waiting any longer can someone please tell Jess what time it what time a lot. it is hmm a lot. <laughs> it's very fun enough about you Jess and your yeah. manes and your tails and your furs but it is now time, as DW has said so eloquently, for the hot spot. Welcome to the hot spot, Jess. You are now ah. in the hot spot. Fire! Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, Jess. So listen up. This is going to be easy and painless for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. You are in the hot spot. Welcome to the hot spot where the spot gets so hot. Are you ready? I am, I guess. You <laughs> not really, but okay. You gotta be ready. There, you, you, you can do this. It's not a problem. I guess since I've already done it to you, I mean, I had it coming. So <laughs> you're absolutely right. And then, I'm just, and then I'm at huh? Twice. Yeah, yeah. I did it on the morning show, and then we did it on Ladies Night. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm getting you three up here because you were the final portion for your own hot spot, and you three are coming back for a fisty bitch hour. Oh Lord. Yeah. Hell yeah. You guys <laughs> just don't. You guys just aren't gonna gang up on me. <laughs> your, little, your little channel and just gang up and just say whatever you want to me. Whatever. <laughs> What I mean, some, some of my guys. That one you says X rated for sure. <laughs> it's going down. I'm getting 3,000 up here. Folks oh, coming. It's going to be all oh, bad God. for you. Wow. <laughs> Ladies, we have it in. <laughs> Misty Fish Hour. If, if 503, if you are listening, uh, can you please throw me a thumbs up? I need to ask you a question. Ask you a question. All right. But. For now, we are getting you in the hot spot, and the hot spot starts off like this. Fishy biz and Jess mains, tails, fur, and fins is going to be a crazy one. And there's a lot of streams on Monday night, but this is going to be your favorite one. For sure. And I'm not going to play with her. So <laughs> let's get it. Ooh. 
Jess, these are your faves and only your faves, your faves only. Okay. And before we start, there's 503 right there. 503, will you come up Monday and host with me on a very special Fisty Bish hour for my 2,000 subs plus? What an honor. Where we will do giveaways all night. Awesome. 503 up there to host. I might even bring up guests and see how much you've liked the Fishy Biz Aquatics channel. Give your little blurb and then get out of the chat. Yeah. And my stage. Right. Will you do it, 503? She said, hell yes. Hell yes. That's my girl. We'll do it. You heard it here first, folks. Monday night, 9 p.m. Central Time, me and 503 Aquatics. And I'll probably get a slew of other people to pop up and see what they thought about Fishy Biz Aquatics and his 2,000 subs with mad giveaways in tow. Right. Right before the Christmas. Christmas. Right right before Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Jess, these are your faves and only your faves and nobody else's faves with yours, so you got to know them. Okay. What is your favorite type of filtration? None. Zero filtration is your favorite filtration? How does that work? Well, you got to use filtration to get there. <laughs> but a planted aquarium, full plants, and the plants take the load. Very so, nice. Yes. Very nice. Got your own little ecosystems, do you? Yep. Think I you do. got it all figured out, do you? No, not completely, but <laughs> getting there. <laughs> it's a never know everything you learn every day. There you go. All right. Safe answer. I like it. Give me your favorite face favorite place to buy fish aquabid aquabid online okay. yep what's the best deal you got on aquabid i never got a deal on aquabid <laughs> <What>? <laughs> i don't go to aquabid to get a deal i okay. go to aquabid to get what is um special and the specials are not cheap so gotcha what's the last special thing that you got off aquabit uh they're actually on the way and they are the long long fin electric blue rams long fin electric blue Uh rams guys seriously hey grab a big stick jess no kidding. Go crazy on that. Go medieval oh, on that ass. Geez. Sometimes you got to go medieval on that ass. Right? Yeah. Ugh. All right. Give me your favorite bottom feeder. Placo. Well, ooh, I don't know. I've got three. Your favorite one. It's still going to have to be Placo. Pleco for salt water. No, Pleco for fresh water. Mm, salt water is my crabs. I mean, them suckers can eat anything in a heartbeat. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. Is that your final answer? I think so. All right. Pleco for fresh water and crabs for salt water. Yep. That's a way to answer your favorite in two different ways. Right? <laughs> At a girl. I like the That's way how to answer going. the question. Yes and no, right? <laughs> I like where this is going. I'm with it. Okay. Uh, your favorite tank size? 10. 10 gallon. Yep. A 10 gallon. Okay. All right. Why? That's what I've got the most of. Okay. So it has to be your favorite. You got the most of them. Right. I mean, I have, I've got two, four, three forties, but I just, once I get that big, it just takes so much to fill it up. <laughs> Special <laughs> shout out to Patrick Hardy. Hey, Patrick. Patrick Hardy P. Hart is back in the place to be. Glad to see you. Mad love to you, Patrick Hardy. And I still have something to get out to you. I really appreciate you, period. Now, give me your favorite fish. Oh, that's a hard question. Yeah, it is. That's why you got to answer it. 
Um, my Achilles, my blue Galaris, Killy. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. I'm really loving my Rams, but my blue Galaris and my Bumblebee Gobies. Such a hard question. Yeah, you're still going. Are you sure it's the Killies? <laughs> Yes, I'm going to say my Blue Galaris Killy is still at the top of the list. If I had to get rid of fish and I only was able to keep one, that's what I would keep. Hold on. Don't answer Don't answer my questions all so fast. Hold on. <laughs> don't get rid of anything just yet. Wait till I ask. <laughs> all right, here we go. Give me two fish that are enemies. To themselves or to, eat to different fish? Uh, I would be hoping for two different species. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. So I guess a, a Killy and a Betta would fight till the end. I'm sure. Would they? Um, yeah. A grown, I believe a grown male, two grown, I, 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 believe, I don't know. They might not. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Rams, my Rams. You put two different two different kinds of them together and they'll fight males. Okay. All right. They don't like each other. All right. Those are ah, Crabenzas. You can't put well, you can. You can't put them with their own species. I don't know. Just these aren't even the hard questions yet. I know. I know. <laughs> ah, my ear fell off. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, give me two give me two fish or friends maybe that's quicker that might be yes two fish that are friends i can do that okay um well i think i can do that let's see golly this is so hard <laughs> it's gonna be a long night y'all i guess um Grab your libations. <laughs> well, so I've got my Crabenzas and my Plecos are in the same tank. So <laughs> I guess they're friends. You're going back with the Crabenzas that you were about to say as enemies? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can't stop. What do you want? No. There's no pause in it's live. <laughs> no. What? What are you trying to do? Hey, hey, ask that person, give us two two fish that are enemies. <laughs> hey, what's cracking, young man? <laughs> you met him in, the, in Orlando. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're interrupting my stream for why. <laughs> you want milk? <laughs> His son came in with milk. <laughs> what do you want? We'll talk to my bedtime. Mm, you want he wants thirty more minutes on his bedtime tonight. Chat gets to choose. Chat gets to choose. Does he get thirty more minutes on a school night? Chat decide. With straight A's. With straight A's. With straight A's. Chat decide. What is he doing for these thirty minutes? Are you riding your brain with Call of Duty or something? <laughs> kind of. Did he say kind of? Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's not playing Brawlhalla. Go to bed. <laughs> Diddy says, when she says no, no, go to bed. Didi says give them 30. Somebody else says give them 30. Skipper says no, go to bed. So we're even right now. Jess is sweating already. Somebody <laughs> put it all fire. Go to bed, you little. Says go off to bed. Now off to bed is up by five. 30 more. Now we're back <laughs> up to three to three. 30 more minutes. It's tied. It's even. One more says no. Oh, oh yes. No, don't type. You can't type on this oh, side. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. An extra 30 says fish the kid, but he's just a kid himself. Oh. Wait a minute, give him 30 says crystals, pets and plants, and 30 more from Melvin Reef. It's a resounding 30. It's a resounding 30 more minutes. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I love that kid. Thank y'all. <laughs> I'm son. Oh my gosh, y'all are a mess. <laughs> Way to go, chat. <laughs> Uh, friends, is his friends, that's what we're sticking with. That's where we're at, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, let's get on to the good stuff. Um, what is your favorite dessert? 
right now it's my marble cream slobbery ice cream marble cream slabbery ice cream. Oh, yeah from the marble cream slab cream. yeah gotcha yes. what kind of ice cream do you get from that because i didn't know you told him no uh oh uh oh uh oh Oh, Big Papa says no. Everybody in, in the chat. Sorry. Bom, 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 bom. Um, okay. <laughs> what, is, what kind of ice cream? <laughs> it's um, it's called Port of Call, and it's a um, pecan. Oh, what is that called? Like a butter pecan? Oh, you had me a butter pecan. Yeah, but it's like it's got little um, kisses in it or little chocolate chips in it and pecans. And then it's got the the ice cream. So it's like, oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> he did. Yes, he did. They but see, did. it don't work that way because he may have tried, but then dad said no. So okay. that's what goes. Yeah. Big Papa ain't playing. Nope. <laughs> nope. Dang. It would have worked the same way if I would have said the same. So, tried it. Uh, favorite breakfast food? Right now, it's these little, like, pigs in a blanket. They come frozen, and I eat them with maple syrup. Okay. All right. Little frozen weenies in a blanket. Gotcha. All right. Uh, favorite mm -hmm. syrup? Captain Crunch. Crunch berries. Oh, I hate the crunch berries, but I love Captain Crunch. I like them both. I like them oh. both. All right. Right. Uh, favorite fast food joint? Canes. Canes chicken fingers? Somehow they get them right every time, don't they? Every time. And that, and that cane, sauce is amazing. That cane sauce. Like, sauce. I put my french fries in the sauce too oh you gotta put your fries in the sauce got to, right yeah that's it it's around to stick your tongue in the sauce i don't know when you just get, get it all out of there just, heck yeah oh my god I can't leave anything absolutely favorite restaurant posadas posadas have i seen this place before posadas is well we have two of them one in shreveport and one in bozier that are close to me, but it's a, a Mexican kind of, I'm restaurant. I'm trying to figure out if my uncle took me down there when it's I was. It's a Tex-Mex restaurant, not like a Mexican type. You know, it's, it's Mexican, but it's Tex-Mex, not okay. real Mexican. Okay. All right. Favorite thing to get at Posadas? I get the um, crunchy taco dinner with double rice, and then I get the um, chips and dip, of course, but the favorite is the flour tortillas and butter and you dip it in the hot sauce and <sighs> can't go wrong with that it's like good old-fashioned hot pita bread man it's yeah. wonderful yeah. wonderful because they make their own so it's not like out of a bag they make their own tortillas what was your favorite fast food joint canes not taco bell <laughs> All right. i will eat taco bell but no it's not taco bell Favorite food to cook? I don't. Cook. Not a cooker. No. But if I, okay, so if I do cook and or have to cook, it's my Mexican casserole because that's like the only thing I can cook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you put in that casserole? It's the first layer is dor dor Dorito chips, ranch style Dorito chips crushed up. And then hamburger meat that seasoned with taco seasoning, and then rice ranch style beans. Oh, okay. No rice. Um, ranch style beans, cream of mushroom soup on top, and then cheese, and then rotel tomatoes, and then you cook it in the oven for thirty minutes at three fifty, and you're good to go. What do you eat it with? Nothing. It's you eat it together. out of the pan and just eat it. Yep. Yep. And it's wonderful. 
country shit. Um, favorite wrestler. Eh, stop. <laughs> well, all of the kid is back. <laughs> what did Pop say? <laughs> I don't understand it. He can have his 30 minutes, but he's in trouble. So I don't know. Bruising for a bruising. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. The first ingredient is Doritos. All it does is it makes the bread bottom easy with flavor. What's your favorite wrestler? I don't know. I don't know wrestling. <laughs> um, what do you know? What what sport? Do you, any sport? Rodeo. What's your favorite rodeoer? I don't have a favorite rodeoer. What the hell? I have a favorite event. Okay, what's your favorite event? <laughs> barrels, running barrels. Okay, all right, all right. You picked that over. Uh, yep. Over roping. Yeah. Yep. Um, Which I can do both. Tying the calf up in the. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, uh, calf roping and. Shoot dogging and bull riding and bronc riding and saddle bronc riding and barrels. And yep, I picked barrels over it. Yeah, but I don't cook. Nope. Sorry. Even I know how to cook jambalaya and a good gumbo and an etouffee. Nope. That was my grandmother's. And for whatever reason, we were too busy rodeoing, so we didn't have time to learn to cook. Gotcha. And I don't like being in the kitchen, so the two don't go together. <laughs> it's messed up. You would be out doing all of the the uh, cow stuff and the horse stuff, and I would yep. have to cook you dinner? Yep. Wow. Yep. It's put me in my place right there real quick. <laughs> What's your favorite type of music? I like the country rap. Yeah, I said it. Country rap. Is there even a genre? Hey, uh, <laughs> can somebody check that for me? Larry? Alexa. <laughs> hey, Larry. <laughs> Country rap? <laughs> Give me the thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. What it is. But then followed by two thumbs down. So uh, what is country rap? <laughs> it's like um, I don't know. It's not the, the twangy country music. There is a TikToker that I started to follow that does, if if it's country rap, then that's yeah. what it is. And the, he, she mean, will just think of a song and it could be like Destiny's Child or uh, Dr. Dre and he will rap it country style with the beat with country themes. Yeah, like he'll talk about how instead of him, instead of you know, r rolling down the street in my six four is how it goes. Yes. He'll be riding in the stallion on my big horse or something. Yes, yes, that type. Yeah, that's real. Yep. Okay. I I don't mind that guy, but <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. But. The last. Yes. You, do you have a favorite country rapper? It. Um. No. The Chawa Boys. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so I've I've got to Instagram these. I mean, I've got to. Uh, yeah. These people. But see, I'm teaching you some stuff. I, I see. <laughs> country rap is off the hook. Jelly Roll is country rap also. <laughs> yep. It's all about farming stuff. <laughs> it is. It's about it's yeah, about it's farming and ranching and getting, you know, riding your four wheelers and your big truck, big mud trucks and yeah. Well you guys that's that's what I like. And you can throw some M M in there too, and I'm all right with it. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, lady die? Uh what is your favorite karaoke? <laughs> I've never done karaoke. You've never done karaoke? Nope. Oh my God. Where have you been? On a ranch. <laughs> wow. 
when I uh, when are you going to shallow in uh in February? Yes. I'm bringing a karaoke box. It's oh my god! Yeah, it's over <laughs> for you. It's, it's going down. It's going down. Uh, Miss Canadian Scraper. What's up? Coming through. Uh, favorite soft drink? Coke. Uh, over Pepsi? Yes. Any day. And that's all I drink from the time I get up, other than my coffee, to the time I go to bed. Well, I'll have a Red Bull every now and then, but still a Coca-Cola product. <laughs> Coke all day. Do you Coke a lot? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's what I got. Uh, right favorite here. app? Not. Favorite app? Not YouTube. Darn. I guess it, well, it, I mean, I have been watching a little bit of TikTok only because I'm trying to do a little TikTok. So I feel like I need to know a little TikTok. Aren't, aren't our old asses all trying to do a little bit of TikTok? <laughs> I yeah. think the only person that's successfully done it for your fish tube is Haley from Hot yeah. Aquatics. She just like throws on shades and just goes for it. Right? Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, between like, if I can't pick YouTube, I guess it's got to be TikTok right now. Favorite website, not YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's what you get. Hmm. I guess it's the the fish stores, <laughs> the fish websites. <laughs> um, I've been on Aquavit a lot, um, but I can't say that's my favorite for sure, um, because I'm on Get Gills about as much as I'm on Aquavit, and I'm on Joe Shrimp Shack as much as I'm on the same. So, <laughs> anytime you're ready, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so indecisive. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Can I play the fifth? <laughs> Girl, hell no. This is your favorite. What is your favorite website besides YouTube? Don't have favorite. Um, golly. Okay, so my favorite website. The next thing other than YouTube that I turn on is hmm, Facebook or Instagram. Is that a website or is that an app it's a website on your computer but on your phone it's an app there you go we'll take it <laughs> uh what is your favorite holiday <laughs> my birthday your birthday is your favorite holiday yep and it's a holiday okay <laughs> well, we're kicking it <laughs> Uh, favorite celebrity crush? I told you this is going to be hard. I don't. What, okay. Sam Elliott. Who? <laughs> Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott? Is he a tap dancer? No. He plays um, in The Ranch. Have you heard of the ranch? Some of it's been in a lot of with the old guy and uh and Ashton Kutcher. Yes. Yes. Well, which one is he? The old guy? The old guy. What the hell, Jess? Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Or Kevin Costner. Oh my god, what the hell? Mm. Who? Which one is it? Is it Kevin Costner? <laughs> No, I st it's still it's Sam hard. Elliott. It's still Sam Elliott over Kevin Costner. Is Sam Elliott? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Age don't mean nothing. Gotcha. <laughs> Favorite car? No, it's a truck. There ain't a car. There you go. Favorite truck? <laughs> My Dodge. It's got a Hemi in it? Yep. It's got a Hemi. What is it? A Dodge what? 
what the 2500 the um it's not the basic line it's the one above that <gasps> you want me to tell you a quick story about that no. so yeah <laughs> <laughs> so when we were going to look for trucks they have the dodges and y'all the dodges are like big like these suckers start like four foot off the ground jesus <laughs> and i'm little and so we didn't go with the basic one we went with the next one up so it's probably like five inches off the thing five foot off the ground okay. so when we were looking for trucks it had to make sure that it had a step lat steps thing on it because mm -hmm. i couldn't get in it couldn't get yeah. in it you got to climb up the tire to get into the actual truck? Just about. Yep, just about. As a driving Bigfoot is what it is. Right? <laughs> and I used to need it when I was pulling the big trailer. Um, you got to have a big truck. Mm -hmm. uh, but I haven't pulled the trailer in over a year. So, okay. you know. Yeah. I haven't even needed it for landscaping. So, I could go back to an SUV and be perfectly happy cannot imagine you climbing out of a big truck to go to the grocery store. What do you guys still got? Kroger down there? Yeah, we have Kroger and a Brookshire's and Walmart. And Brookshire's, yeah, yeah. Brookshire's. What about Super One Foods? We have one Super One left. Really? And we have one Piggly Wiggly left. Oh, the Piggly Wigglies are out of there. Yep. Damn. Yep. They're, and they're not even in my city. They're in a city north of us. Okay. Right before you get to Arkansas. Oh, wow. Mm. Plain dealing. I've heard of plain dealing. Yep. Yeah. That's where the last Piggly Wiggly is around here. All right. Uh, we already talked about the rodeo. What's your favorite superhero? I don't do superheroes. Not a fan of the superheroes. No Spider Men, no Supermen, no Wonder Women, no Cat Women. Nope. No. I'm not a, a hero or that type of person um i don't know i just never did get into that i've watched the the new superman no the new the new spider-mans and i did like them but i still could take it or leave it okay right. um i like renaissance very much so like game of thrones and magical fantasy stuff okay all right so like twilight and harry potter yep. and all yep. that oh stuff. yes okay yep. i'm with yep. that too those are my gigs i don't so much do superheroes gotcha uh favorite shoe ever boots uh, what type of boot? Ariat. Uh, the correct answer there is Timberland. <laughs> no, those are for men. <laughs> Timberlands are for men. I'm not going to walk around with the Timberland on my foot. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, favorite emoji. Right now is sure. the Santa Claus. Okay. And the Miss Santa Claus. Because okay. if I send emojis, that's pretty much what I've been sending. But All if right. it's away from if it's away from the holidays, then it's just the the um like the the smiley face, but it's the one that's like you know, like sweet and honest and, you know, sincere one. Not the one that's like, <gasps> but it's, you know, the that one. Ariat for the win. And somebody asked, and I hate super people ask, Ariat or Red Ring? Or Red Ring? Ariat. Ariat. Ariat, still Ariat. Uh, favorite? Well, if I had ahead. to pick a shoe, if, it, if I had to pick a tennis shoe, it would be the New Balances. Because they, they have on, that line they came inside. Out some newer styles of New Balance that look off the chain. Um, really, sun guys. I like the new ones new. that. I like them. Sure. Yeah. I like very colorful, and they have the liner. The 
the soft liner in them. They've really been doing some good things with New Balance, man, because back in the day, they just used to be only for people 65 and up. My yep. grandfather never left out of Yeah, you didn't balance. want to be caught in a New Balance if you they were young. They were all one color. It was like they're all gray with a big white end on them, and they just, yep. like, old people wore them when they were bouncing their uh, tennis balls around the mall early in the morning. Yep. I love them. And I don't want to have to tie a shoe. <laughs> It's not that I'm lazy. I just, ah, uh, yeah, I mean, crazy. Those new ones, yeah, they they look they look good. So, um, I got do you have a favorite game console? No, nope, I don't play games. I don't play no games. No, nope. I, I wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons, but that's not on the game. Either. That's not on the anything either. CPU is uh, it's a computer. I think it's a computer. Dungeons and Dragons. Is it? Think so. I did want to play that, but I can't bring myself to sitting down for that long and accomplishing nothing. Mm -hmm. I know. My kids do it all day long, but I can't. It's true. Um, I mean, you just got to kind of be in it to be in it. If you're not in it, you're just not in it. Just yeah, I it, it is. It's either one or the other, and, and we just don't me and joe don't um now we played nintendo when we were young yes but, you know we were kids once you yeah. when we grew up you just i got away from it and i didn't keep going with the consoles as they progressed so well you can still get a nintendo system with all of the nintendo games on it now for like especially over the holidays for like 40 bucks yeah but i just can't sit down and do it it's no time anymore huh well, it's not that it's not time, but if I'm going to sit down and do anything, it's going to be looking at the back of my eyelids. Gotcha. So, <laughs> you know, I just, it's not my thing. Gotcha. Favorite movie ever? Gone with the Wind. That's a nice one. There you go. Here's looking at you, kid. Um... Was that in that movie? Um, no, I don't know. No, it was yeah. Casablanca. I was, I was just quoting. Yeah, that. that's Casablanca. Hers is, um, oh, it's. I'll think about that tomorrow or whatever, like that. I don't know exactly how it went, but I'll think. I'll worry about that tomorrow, or I'll deal with that tomorrow, or I'll think about that. It's one of those. Gotcha. Um, but I'm yeah, not, that that was hers. Yeah, I've never seen it. Um. Oh. Favorite school. I thought all teachers had to go back and watch classics. I don't know why I thought that, but no. <laughs> nah. It's not like having to go through speech class. You have to go through it, but you don't want to. <laughs> I just thought it was a you had to watch all the classics to be a teacher. <laughs> nope. It's never That's it right there. Frankly, my dear. Man, is that where it's from? Okay, great. Yep. Porkies, of course. Porkies. So popular porkies. <laughs> you don't know what porkies is? Nope. Oh my god, Jess. Nope. Um, favorite school subject? Science. Biology. Science, science and biology under science. Okay. Um, most watched fish tuber. I'll Damn. wait. Um, I don't have a favorite. I don't have a favorite. I'm for everybody. Um, most watched. Was the, the don't have to pick a favorite on this one. Most, Most watched is well, dang everybody's weekly. I'm the only one that's daily. Well, Rico Stan is daily a lot too, so I'll have to go with Rico Stan because he does go daily. Okay. In that aspect, yeah. So it, it'll be Rico Stan. I would never ask you favorite fish tuber because yeah. everybody knows that I'm your favorite fish tuber. That's right. I, 
fish tank. I, I, it's, 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 a, it's that question is like, you will get your ass in trouble quick <laughs> with that question. And I'm like, no, no, uh uh, please eat this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm your favorite fish tuber's favorite yeah. fish tuber. Yeah. Yeah. That's just how it goes. <laughs> uh, favorite seafood? Shrimp. Shrimp? Like shrimp. How do you like them? In shrimp scampi. Very nice. Will you take them cocktail style with the sauce? Nope. They're nope. cold. I don't like cold don't food. Like cold crumps? Nope. Hmm. Will you take them uh, fried and butterfly? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, I will. And other and than I, that, in a nice scampi drizzle with garlic and butter sauce. Oh my gosh. And noodles. Oh. Yummy. Very nice. That's what I get when we go to just about every restaurant, unless it's a steak restaurant. I get the shrimp scampi. And if they can't make it, I teach them how <laughs> or I tell them how. I don't, never made it. I tell them how. So pull gotcha. it up. <laughs> Favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni and hamburger. Not bad. Not bad. Favorite pizza place? Well, it used to be Johnny's Pizza, but now it's Marco's right now. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but you've made it to the next round. Oh, that's <laughs> Welcome to the Inferno round, Jess, where it's either this or it's either that. It's either this or it's either that. So I can say this or that? It's either this or either that, <laughs> whichever one that I'm saying. Oh. You pick one or the other. So I got to make a decision? <laughs> Well, yeah, Jess, this is what you've been trying to do this whole time. You've been failing epically. I don't know how <laughs> I've seen somebody get so many answers wrong that are their own. I don't understand. <laughs> Where is the conundrum? <laughs> I'm just very really indecisive <laughs> and forgetful. How I've made it this far in life, who knows? <laughs> All right. This or that, let's go. Hot or cold? Hot. Breakfast for dinner or dinner for dinner? Breakfast at dinner. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs or fish? Ugh. Dogs. Ah, dogs or horses? Dogs. Oh, very nice. My corgi nice. take my heart oh. over everything. Oh, so, so if I had to get rid of everything, it would be my dog's estate. The, 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 the doggies. Yeah. <laughs> <Hitting Wait>. those. <laughs> Weekdays or weekends? Ah, see, they run together. I don't know the difference half the time. Okay. So I think you are the blessed ones to not have to worry about a weekday or a weekend. Being yeah, blessed. they're all the same. Just pick one. Weekend. Okay. Bath or shower? Shower. Soap bar or gel? Gel. Shampoo or conditioner? Both. I gotta use both. I can't use one or the other. Which one first? Well, you use the shampoo first, and then you use the conditioner. Is that how it's supposed to go? Yeah. You like, sure? yeah. I mean, I got like four foot long hair here. <laughs> it's gotta be conditioned. <laughs> uh, baby powder or lotion? Lotion. Mm, all right. Um, short or tall? Short. Goldfish are better. Ah. Better. Hmm. Better or Killy? Killy. Killy or Bumblebee Goldie? Killy. Mm. I'm telling you, them, them little suckers are cool. 
<laughs> Arapaima or alligator gar? Well, I don't really know what an arapaima is, so it has to be an alligator gar. Arapaima is the largest freshwater fish there is. But alligator gar, we go with alligator gar or Oscar? Oscar. Mm, Oscar or flower horn? Oscar. I don't like the knots on the head. Like the the, the Those are called cocks. Yeah, I can't say that word either. <laughs> it's K-O-K, not C-O-K. I know, but you still say it and you still think. So. <laughs> nuclear hump then. There we go. Nuclear hump. Gotcha. I don't like nuclear hump. Uh, okay. Uh, you said Oscar. Oscar or discus? Discus. Oh, discus or angel? Angel. Oh, she's going, y'all. She's going. <laughs> All right. Um, mammals or reptiles? Mammals. Starburst or Skittles? Skittles. Skittles are Twizzlers. Skittles. Skittles are Laffy Taffy. Skittles. Skittles are runts. Skittles. Skittles are now or later. Skittles. Frick. Uh, original or Wildberry? Original. Ah. But what? there's another kind that tops that. Original or tropical? The tropical. Yeah. <laughs> That's the yep. blue bag. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, m ms or Reese's? Pieces. Oh, yeah, Reese's Pieces. Okay, Reese's Pieces or Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? Reese's Pieces. Okay, Reese's Pieces or Snicker Bar? Reese's Pieces. Yeah. Reese's Pieces or Butterfinger? Butterfinger. Ah, Butterfinger or Milky Way? Butterfinger. Butterfinger or Three Musketeer? Butterfinger. Butterfinger or Payday? Butterfinger. Damn. Butterfinger or Heath Bar? Butterfinger. Mm. Butterfinger or Toblerone? I don't even know what that is, so Butterfinger. Hey. <laughs> nah, better not let it finger on my Butterfinger. All right. Um, I went through a phase of Butterfingers, and that's all I ate like most of the day in my coats, and that was my meals. And then I went to Skittles, and that was my thing and now it's my ice cream dude you go through a got through of addictions so wild yep but i've done that before if i find something i like i might do it every other day or daily and then oh, I do it something else several times a day okay stop myself no stop. kelly foreman don't say the word no <laughs> Skittles or gummy bears? Skittles. Damn. Um, great movie or great show? Show. Okay. Uh, tacos or burgers? Tacos. Uh, bacon or sausage? Sausage. Sausage or ham? Sausage. Love that sausage. Yep. Pig or cow? Cow. Cow or horse? Horse. Mornings or nights? Nights. YouTube shorts or TikTok? Huh. TikTok still has it over the YouTube shorts. Disney World or Universal Studios? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been. Never been to either? I've been when I was itty and I don't remember it. So I can't, don't know. If I lose weight for Florida, you can join me and John at Universal. We're going to try to ride the Harry Potter ride. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, yes. If I, if I don't, I'm not going to remind you and you're not going to go either. And I won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> hot coffee or iced coffee? Hot. <laughs> if I come to Florida fat still, <laughs> you guys just going to forget about it. Because <laughs> he's going to go by himself and he's going to tell me how much of a great time he's going to have. What? And I might you better suck. take me, Funk. You better take me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's John. John was supposed to go. I don't know if Funk's going to go. No, like Funk's my Oh, son. okay. Funk's not going. John, you better take me. <laughs> beach sand or mountaintops? Beach sand, because they don't like being cold. Country or city? Country. <laughs> Tractor or truck? Truck. Mm, very nice. I don't Dirt like being cold. So mm -hmm. I don't like being cold. And so if it's winter and you don't have a heater in a cab of a tractor, then it's cold. <laughs> Just telling you how I make decisions. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, dirt roads or concrete? Dirt roads. Uh, gas or oil? Gas. Uh, a little late or super early? I'm always late. Brains or body? Brain. Uh, boobs or butt? Butt. Bulge or butt? Butt. <laughs> Chest or abs? Abs. Abs or back? Back. Back or legs? Back. Hands or feet? Hands. I don't like feet. <laughs> I don't like feet either. Fish sticks or nuggets? Chicken nuggets? Yeah, I've never heard of a fish nugget. There's actually fish nuggets. Is it? Yep. Sounds disgusting. Let's go chicken, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Okay. Um, tank tops or t-shirts? Tank top. Um, one piece or a bikini? One piece. Okay. Boy shorts or thongs? Thong. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. <laughs> Uh, CVS or Walgreens? CVS. Fries or tots? Fries. Buffy or Blade? I don't know what Blade is, so Buffy. Blade is Wesley Snipes as a vampire slayer. Oh. No. Buffy. Buffy. Okay. Mario yeah. Luigi? Mario. 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 Mario Sonic. I like Sonic. Uh, Lois Lane or Mary Jane, which you probably don't know. Uh, know who Lois Lane is. I don't know who Mary Jane is. Lois Lane is Superman's love interest. Mary Jane is Spider-Man's love interest. One's a brunette, one's a redhead. Well, I guess since I like Spider-Man better than... Mary Jane? Superman, so I'm gonna go with Mary Jane. Gotcha. Cash or credit? Well, I should use more cash than use credit. <laughs> Blondes or brunettes? Brunette. Brunettes or redheads? Brunette. <laughs> Plane, train, or car? Car. Um. PJs are nude. PJs. Okay. I don't want nobody walking around in the nude. Put some damn clothes on. <laughs> hairy chest or hairy backs? Chest. <laughs> pineapples on pizza? Yes. No. Oh. No pineapples. Period. Very good out of the inferno round.
Now we are into the last round, which is the fill it in, fill it in part, fill it in, where I say this, and then you fill in the rest of the blank. Are you ready? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Here we go. (laughs) My worst job ever was. Don't how, many worst, how many bad jobs have you had? <laughs> They've all been good. That's the thing. Oh, okay. You got to pick a bad one out of it. Can't. They're What's all good. The worst good. Okay, so the worst good is working on a ranch. Okay. Because you got to deal with so much shit. Literally. Not Literally. <laughs> Oh, my first job ever was working in a vet. Working in a where? Veterinarian office. In the vet's office. Okay. Um, by far the best vacation spot is. The ocean? I gotta be specific. Well, I mean where was there a vacation spot that you would recommend that was off the chain to you? Yes, but I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> was it really it was your a, favorite spot then? <laughs> it's, it's one of those islands that is past Belize. It's island boy. Yeah. Island boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, past Belize, and we went there on a cruise, so that's it. Wayne says funk or biz? Uh, I'm not answering. Nope. Oh, oh, damn it, you answer. You answer this question. Nope. Hey, where's your eye? <laughs> you answer this question. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I can't split you up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. No. You did. You did. His stream Saturday, and now you're on my stream. That's only you because he streamed before you yours. You were supposed to be on my stream first. I asked for you hellas ago. Oh, I've been on many people's streams. I don't give a damn. I asked you before <laughs> him. Okay, you're my favorite. Hey, you heard it here first. <laughs> Take that, Aqua Funk Aquatics. You suck, says hey. Jeff. So now that means when Uncle Funk gets mad at me and don't do my song, oh, your ass is doing my song. <laughs> I win. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad now. I <laughs> don't don't worry about it. He'll get over it. Thank you, Ricky. You it up, says Ricky. I owe you a dollar ninety nine when I see you. Uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not fair. That's like our co-host RB. Why would you do such thing? Can't answer it. It's gonna have to be Rocco, man. Oh, what the hell? Get her out of here. What is this? My is co-host, it? man. I can't let him down. I don't want to hear that. That is ridiculous. She's out of here. <laughs> How dare you come on my stream and mention another guy that you like on his YouTube because he's your co-host. I don't care. It's Christmas. <laughs> oh, God. I feel so bad now. Y'all got to quit answering the quit. Stop. <laughs> quit asking me those. That's the busy fish shit. They go crazy in there. <laughs> Uh, what's the name of your first fish? I didn't. Oh, okay. Well, Gandalf. Gandalf. I like it. Laura. That's my bad. My big Dumbo silver better. Gotcha. Okay. Very nice. Um, If I could star, if I could remake and star any movie, what would that movie be and what star would you play? You or me? These are my questions to you. Well, you said you. 
if you can star in any movie okay and remake it who would you be and what would the movie be a night's tale oh my god i love that movie I do every too. time it comes on i, I love that damn movie and me if too. it pops up on netflix yep. i've got to play that movie me too who would yep. you be that's my second favorite movie the the woman the the, the girl the one that made the armor oh oh no, no. the love interest yeah the right yeah princess she, she a princess Oh no! But he he walked into the when he rode the horse into the uh, into the church, just to try to talk to her. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. That's a great pick. Um, and if I could create my own dream tank, what would it be? And this is if you could create your own dream tank. How big would it be, and what would you stock it with? Pressure salt. Wait, what? Fresh or salt? This is your dream tank. Go for it. So, no bigger than a 40. So, 40. And it would be salt. Wait, wait. How big is it? A 40. A 40 gallon breeder is your dream tank? Yep. For salt water? Yep. I have one. Well, yep. if you already got it because I don't think it's not finished okay all right um not finished I want Thank you, you know the you know the 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 ornament fish tank ornament thing that goes in fish tanks that is round and it's got the pillars on it and it's old looking it's of something that was back in the day, back hundreds of uh, years Coliseum? ago. Yeah, the Coliseum. Okay. I want that in it, and I want to grow stuff on it. And then I've got some rocks that kind of lay in the sand that would look like it fell off of it. That's what I want to do. Jess, if money was not an option. That's what hit, I would do. You hit. Jess, you already are. You already got that already. Uh, no, no, I don't have it all. I haven't finished it. You've got a damn forty breeder right now. Well, you, yeah, that's his. That's not one. your dream tank. This is a regular old. I've got five forty gallons over here. I don't want anything bigger than a forty. Oh my God, Jess! <laughs> Kelly Foreman says dream bigger. What astronomical number can you figure out? That I ask people this question and they go freaking ridiculous. Well, it's their dream, not yours. <laughs> I, I, who am I to shit on your dream? 40 gallon I mean, Coliseum ornament. You're going to grow moss on it. And what are you going to put in it? Just and anemones. And, and then I, I want some more clownfish and I want some seahorses, but that'll have to be another tank. Mm. Okay. So, That'll be cool. I think so. I just don't want a big tank. I, I can keep more things in smaller tanks, and I can't have a bigger tank in this house. But I do like the. I just. I'm nano, and I believe anything under forty is nano, <laughs> including salt water. Well, just let me just say that that is. I'm one of a kind. It's okay. It is. It goes down in history as the smallest dream tank I've ever heard of. <laughs> you are something special. You definitely are. And um, for my final question, if I wasn't keeping fish, I would be keeping... Well, my dogs, but there's got to be something other than that, other than what I already have. It could be whatever it is that you just said, if that is what you want it to be. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, put your ones in the chat 
for Jess Mains Tales, Fur and Fins. She did a hell of a job bringing the funny to you tonight as I hosted her in this hot spot. She did her thing, you guys. And it is definitely worth a replay if you weren't able to be here. <laughs> Kelly said, your dream tank, your dream date is at Taco Bell. So my, when me and Joe first dated, I, we went to Posada's and my meal cost less than $5. <laughs> Cheap date. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you, you were smitten. You didn't care about the money. You had to let them know. Well, the funny thing is, is I was working graveyards at the casino and I would go every night to Posadas and eat before I went to work. Because that's where I chose to eat because I love it. Sure. But if they had a Carabas close, I'd have probably mixed them up some, but they didn't have one that's close. They didn't even have one then. That's dope. Yeah. I'm the simple of the simplest. I'm actually very complicated, but I'll go with simple. <laughs> Most of the simple people are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You think we're simple, but we're really not. We're really, really complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, any country person that's lived that life is very, has some very good depth to them. And you are a special one. Just, I loved it. I appreciate you for coming up here. The chat loved it. Everybody loved it. You know, you keep doing your thing. Where do you see um, yourself in the next uh, three years for you two? I feel like the morning show is my thing. And that's where I feel like it's going to keep growing. Um, I want it to be big. I want as many people that we have in chat now that know we're here. I think there's thousands of other ones that don't know we're here yet. And I want to get that out there. And that's what I use the morning show for. That's dope. I, I, yeah. love, I love looking at your intros that you have that you came <laughs> in and made you guys look like you guys were a newscast. Yes. Isn't that cool? Definitely dope. Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought it was. Yeah. I think in the coming year, I'm trying to purchase StreamYard so I can do some cool effects on that. You know, I did that through OBS. Oh, okay. I, you know what, I checked OBS that before I started YouTube and that was like, it looked it's complicated. It's complicated, but if you learn like the very, like four basic things and stay with it, it's okay. Because I am not a computer literate person. Everything has to be simple. And I, I can do that much. Although I still text Stephen P at 2 a.m. <laughs> How do I do this? Get the tech you got to troubleshoot for you. Yeah. Yep. I tell you what, these these <laughs> these live streams of mine keep getting longer and longer. It was like do they? 45 minutes and then an hour and an hour and a half. And it's almost been two hours on here. <laughs> well, see, I'm used to two hours. So to me, it's been short. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, that's it for me. At nine, you have volume ten, two. Huh? <laughs> Miss Patty said she needs a volume two, this or that. Hey, oh. I answered that one better than any of them all night was the this or that. <laughs> yeah, man. So listen, for everybody that's in the chat. Um, thank you all for being up in her on a Monday night, winding down case of the Mondays from your job. You came and kicked it with me at 9 p.m. And we'll be back at 9 p.m. again next Monday before Christmas for those that celebrate. Banana, banana. Yes. Make sure that you guys are here. I will be joined by 503 Aquatics. That's right. Shanna will be with me. And we will be trying to give away stuff, right, for um, for my 2,000 plus subscribers. So, um, Jess, any last things to say before we sign off for the night? The Aquatic Morning Show starts at 9 a.m. in the morning. 
and we have memberships now. Oh, very nice. Very and nice. And we're going to have a Wednesday stream now for members. Sweet. Um, real quick before you go, can oh, very- ladies night is tomorrow night. Ladies night is tomorrow ladies night. night. Tomorrow night. What time? Eight central. Eight o'clock so central time. Nine Eastern. Eight night. Don't miss it. Go see the one from. Don't miss it. Um, Kenneth Bear says, "Great stream." Uh, can you stick a blue zebra angel with a platinum angel fish? Do you know, Jess? I am a, not an angel guy. A blue zebra with a platinum. Mm-hmm. Why not? I mean, is there something? They're angel fish. If they they're a cichlid, they get along. Then why not? Uh, Jess. Unless you're wanting to breed them. What? Did I misunderstand it? <laughs> not if you're not sure. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me call Aquafunk and see if he's up real quick so we can get an answer for that. Thanks, Hep Aquatics. Um, thank all of you guys, man, for the 2K, man. And appreciate everybody in the chat. You guys made it happen for me here. So I definitely want to be sure. Thank you for having me. And it, you, you already know, Jess, you're welcome anytime, any time. I'll put you to that then. And he's not on. <laughs> you said what? I'll hold you to it. Oh, yeah, definitely. All three of you guys going to get back yeah, anyway. I, 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 it, it's going to happen. So that's just how it's going to going to go. We'll talk backstage. Everybody else, you guys have a great night. Thank you guys so much for staying with me. And uh, Monday, the Fisty Bitch Hour, we are bike. And we out of her. Ha, ha, ha.